Hello my friends, it's Bruns here, welcome back to the channel and today we are talking a little bit about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. This is one of the games that I'm most looking forward to in the next year. The game is from the same developers that did Friday the 13th and I absolutely love that game so I can't wait for this next one. So we already have a full cast of victims, that's what the players are called, they're called victims and they all have their own backgrounds, different abilities and their own points on attributes. The developers are teasing us with cards of the victims which will show all the information that I'll be telling you today. So going through what each attribute means, the first one is toughness. So what he says is that toughness is not strength, it's fortitude. So it doesn't only apply to their health, but it actually means how much damage they can take before they become incapacitated, which is interesting. It's not dead, it's incapacitated. So I wonder if there's two states there. You can be incapacitated and then rescued, or you're just simply dead. It also says it shortens your recovery time. And I wonder if what this actually means is if you get hit, then there's a recovery time. And if that's shorter, then you can just uh, run away faster. The second attribute we have is endurance, but this is more related to the stamina so i guess is how much you can sprint and then also how quickly will that stamina regenerate third attribute is strength this is directly to do with combat so it seems like the victims will be able to do sneak attacks so the strength will affect the stun effect of those sneak attacks it also says something about grappling and close encounters so i wonder if this is something similar to friday the 13th where jason will pick you up and then you could get out of his grapple before he killed you seems like strength will also help victims escape restraints opening crawl spaces and turning off the generator so the stronger your victim is the quicker you can move through the obstacles and also escape in case they tie up or something fourth attribute is proficiency and that's directly to do with the interaction with the environment and the one they're highlighting here is lock picking so the higher the proficiency with lock picking the easier they can pick locks so this again resembles a little bit of Friday the 13th, which you had some characters that had very poor intelligence, I think it was. And those characters, it took a long time for them to fill in the gas in the car, for instance. Not sure why you had to be intelligent to do that. And the last attribute is stealth. And this is really what the game is about, stealth. So if your character has low stealth, you can still hide and stay in the shadows. However, it seems that high stealth will help the victims perform actions more silently. And this is what the game is about, being quiet and trying to escape the killers without letting them know where you are. Also, what I've seen on the Reddit community is that you will be able to equip the victims with perks similar to Friday the 13th. So those perks, they'll be able to boost any of the attributes that you see here. If your character has low endurance, you'll be able to equip a perk on them, which will increase their endurance. Or maybe they have high stealth already and then you put perks with more stealth, so they'll be super stealth here. So you can already see how you're gonna be able to build your character like that. So now let's go through the characters themselves. The first one we have is Julie Crawford. So Julie is the sporty one and she's got a higher level of fitness. So she's got 25 points on toughness, 30 points on endurance, 10 points on strength, 20 points on proficiency, and 40 points on stealth. So Julie is the victim with the highest stealth and her active ability is called Ultimate Escape, which can temporarily reduce her stamina and also make her harder to track. So you can see Julie as being one that will be able to be really quiet throughout the game and at the very end she'll be able to make that dash for the escape. So killers, you're gonna have to keep an eye on this one. Next character we have is Lila McKinney and he's the strong one of the group. He's got 15 points on toughness, 30 points on endurance, 40 points on strength, 25 points on proficiency and 10 points on stealth. So his ability is called Lifesaver and he'll be able to stun the family members by dashing into them perhaps. You can see on the video gameplay here how he comes from behind one of them and smacks them in the head, freeing one of his victim companions. I can say Leland's gonna be a really fun victim to play with. Next one in the cards we have Connie Taylor and there's been a lot of gameplay showing Connie. Connie's got 20 points on toughness, 25 on endurance, 15 points on strength, 35 points on proficiency and 30 points on stealth. She seems a little bit more all-rounder and balanced of all the victims and she's got the ability focused, which means she can crack a lock instantly so she won't have to do the mini game to try and unlock it. And by the way, it's been confirmed by the devs that all the abilities of the victims will have a cooldown time, which means you will be able to use them multiple times in a match. The next victim we have is Sonny Williams and he seems to be the geek of the group. He's got 10 points on toughness, 40 points on endurance, 
35 points on strength, 25 points on proficiency and 15 points on stealth. He's definitely the noisiest of them all, however he's also the one with most stamina. So he'll be able to run away from the family a little bit more than all the other survivors, however it will be much easier for the family members to spot him. His ability Heightened Sense will help him detect noises by anyone around him, so he'll be able to pinpoint where the family members are. So that's how he's gonna help the rest of the team. And then finally we have Anna Flores. Now, Anna Flores is the main character, so she's got some fantastic stats and she's got one of the coolest abilities as well. Her sister Maria has gone missing and that's why the group decided to investigate the house. And her attributes are 40 points on toughness, 25 points on endurance, 20 points on strength, only 10 points on proficiency, however she's got 25 points on stealth. So she's got the highest toughness of the victims and her ability pains nothing, will reduce incoming damage from attacks and will also give immunity effects to poison, which is the first we see mention of poison in all that we have been fed from the developers. So I wonder how poison will act in the game. So there you have it guys, a fantastic cast of victims and I can't wait to try them all. And there has been some hints by the developers that there are cards coming for the killers as well. So make sure you subscribe to get those updates. And if you enjoyed this video, drop me a like, much appreciated. And I will see you all next time.